Hi, this is Matt Morris, and I'm the product manager for Trimble Terra Office. Today, I'd like to spend a few minutes giving you an overview of our newest product, the Terra Office add-in for ArcGIS Pro. This product lets you connect TerraFlex data collection and maintenance workflows directly to ArcGIS data sources. Let's get started. Here, I have a project open in ArcGIS Pro. The project has a single map, a requirement for Terra Office add-in. This particular project is using data from a feature service hosted in ArcGIS Enterprise or Portal. It could just as easily be from ArcGIS Online, or it could be from feature classes from an on-premise Geo database. I have my layers that I want to use for data collection, and I've installed the Terra Office add-in. So I see a new menu on the ribbon bar called Terra Office. Clicking on that, I get a toolbar with four buttons. The first thing I'm going to do is sign in. This connects me to the TerraFlex cloud and validates my license. As my authentication token is already cached, I don't see the browser prompt for the login in this case. Once I've signed in, I'll start my workflow by clicking the Terra Office Projects button on the left. This is where I'll go to create a new project or choose an existing project to work with. What's important to note here is that these project definitions are stored within my ArcGIS Pro project file. There is no separate project storage the way there was with the Terra Office add-in for ArcMap. As the Pro project moves around, so do the stored Terra Office projects and their connection to the published Terra Office projects in the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project by clicking the Create New button. What this will do is open a simplified user experience for capturing information needed to create a project for TerraFlex. First thing I'll do is give it a name, say NU Demo 5. As far as the type of project, the Terra Office add-in for ArcGIS Pro only supports the TerraFlex cloud project type in this first release. I'll specify a connect project where I want to publish this to. And now I'll review the list of layers in the map. Although they are they are all selected by default. I'm going to use just a subset of them for my data collection project in TerraFlex. These layers will turn into templates in the TerraFlex project. If layers can't be included because they have a different coordinate system or are from a different workspace, they will be indicated as such in the list. To include a standard set of auto fields with each of the published templates, use the Include Auto Fields checkbox. If I want to change what that standard set of auto fields is, I'll click the configure link and get the full list of available auto fields to choose from. My selections here will be remembered the next time I create a project and want to include auto fields. In this list, I'll also see the name of the underlying field that will be used for each auto field. For file geodatabase datasets, the add-in can add the fields on the fly, while for enterprise geodatabase and feature service datasets, you'll need to create those fields yourself using ArcGIS tools. Incidentally, the default field names can also be changed through a local text file used by the add-in. The next setting is the geodetic workflow, also known as the coordinate system settings. In general, we try to pick the most appropriate coordinate system for TerraFlex based on the ArcGIS coordinate systems that you're using, both horizontal and vertical. In my case, it's going to set me up with NAD83 2011 with orthometric heights via the Geoid18 Geoid grid file, a typical setting for US customers. In most cases, the default setting will be appropriate and reflects what coordinate systems are supported in TerraFlex and how those equate to ArcGIS coordinate systems. However, I can always click the edit link and see the geodetic details of this project and how the default settings have been applied. In this case, I can see the projected coordinate system, geographic coordinate system, and vertical coordinate system of the data set as well as the coordinate system of the map layers. I can also change to use a WGIS84 workflow if that is what I want. Lastly, I get to pick my source of accuracy. In the Terra Office add-in for ArcGIS Pro, I can either choose real-time corrections only, or I can choose to use the best of real-time corrections and automatic post-processing in the TerraFlex cloud. This is also known as offline GNSS corrections. When I click Save and Publish, it gives me the confirmation that it will proceed to go ahead and publish this project into the TerraFlex cloud. With the publishing project complete, I'll get a confirmation message, and I'll also see that this new project is listed in the Terra Office Projects window. The project is now available for the TerraFlex users in my organization. Let's say then that some of these users have gone out and collected data, and that data is now sitting in the TerraFlex cloud ready for download. Using the Field Data button on the toolbar, I can toggle the visibility of this dockable window at the bottom of the screen. The window can be docked anywhere, but it's been designed to be used at the bottom like this. It's through this window where you will download collected data. Upon download, collected data will get stored directly back to the feature service or Geo database. By default, you will be downloading new and updated forms for all tasks. 
If you want to change the download filter, click the change link and you will see that this window provides additional filter options by date, extents, specific layers, as well as how you want to treat forms that have already been marked as downloaded or forms that have not yet been post-processed in the cloud. Clicking the download forms button will bring those forms and store them directly into the geodatabase or the feature service. You'll also see a list of them in the box at the right where you can choose to zoom to one or more features. In the list, you'll see an indication of whether or not the form was new or existing, as well as whether or not it has been post-processed. Clicking a form in the list will select it on the map. If you want to take existing data out to the field in Terraflex tasks, use any of the ArcGIS Pro feature selection tools to select a set of features. Then click the Manage Tasks button. This will bring you over to this part of the dockable window where you can view existing tasks and provide a name and notes for the new task. I'll confirm the number of features that I've selected and click the Create Task button. This will upload the selected features and create the task in Terraflex. Tasks can be marked as complete or deleted from within the add-in as well. And that's an overview of the new Terra Office add-in for ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching.